finally, the Defenders have come back to the Vale. It's Monday night. It's time for DOTV Podcast. I am DM Ron, though I am not your Dungeon Master this evening. No, I will be playing, most likely, Arizor the Exorbitant. Um... Hi, how is everyone doing tonight? We've got we've got people with us. We've got. Uh, I, I okay. We'll start with Spud. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? I think I'm playing Wally. I think I'm playing Wally tonight. Okay, and then we also have. We'll go with uh, David. David's here. What's up, peeps? I still have to say Ron owes everybody an apology because last Friday he promised the, the audience good players and delivered us. Mm -hmm. um, cat's here. We got a cat in the chat. Oh, there she is. Okay, I think you turned your mic down and not their speakers. Because you're really quiet now. But Cat is here. Uh, we also have Lewis. Lewis is here. Uh, yes, I am, and I'm playing a multiple full um, multiple group of one person. He is the multiverse. He is the multiverse, and then of course that voice right there that belongs to the one, the only DM, uh, Ricky. Our dungeon master. I'm a DM daddy. You guys can call me daddy if you want. Mm, nope. Daddy. Yeah, I won't be doing that. Lewis, you get inspiration. There it is. Call you what you like, but you have to make hey, a donation. Hey, there we go. What do you what do you call a magician who's incredibly good at cooking? I don't know. Me. A sorcerer. Hmm. That's true. Weren't you guys glad at how good that joke was? <clears throat> All right, we. It seems like we played just five minutes ago, uh, or five months ago. We were in the middle of doing a thing. Who would like to explain the thing that we are in the middle of doing? Spooky, spooky. Will that do? That was pretty close. That was pretty close. I'm going to add some details yeah. to it. Uh, the minor, Minotaur. Uh, I think if I remember, we, um, we were winning a fight and seceded. We, yeah, we heard about some necromantic stuff, but not the cool kind of necromancy. This is the evil, ruin your day, ruin your veil kind of necromancy that we don't like stinky um so we came to investigate and we found this altar and there were some undead we killed the undead uh and uh i think last our cleric like just finished a ritual to cleanse this altar and we were fighting off undead new treasure it's very oh yeah we're gonna loot yeah and he said we were gonna do it first thing this session to remind him we're doing it first thing this session blah 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 i don't remember that uh, i feel like that was a lie it's uh, loot o'clock no i think it is actually loot o'clock it sounds like a lie it's not a lie yeah it's uh, definitely <laughs> loot 30. do you guys think it's loot 30. it's loot 36. it's definitely it's loot 30 mind. somewhere loot skywalker it's 10.30 at night. Do you know where your loot is? I don't know. I don't know about that. Do you remember that? Do anybody, any of us um, Yankees? Other than me? Remember uh, that? Do you know where your pants are? Commercials? I don't know that I do. No. I don't know about the pants one, but I know, do you know where your kids are? Ah. Because I what? was part of that whole thing. We'll go ahead and set this to the best possible loot results. Wait a second. How exactly were you part of right. that, Lewis? 
That is a good question, Liz. Were you borrowing people's kids? Uh, no, I was a kid myself, and it was to help remind the parents, hey, you know, the streetlights are on, basically. Do you know where your kids are? So, you know, I was always, I was one of those groups that, you know, you went out at uh, after breakfast and after you watched your cartoons, and then you came back maybe came back to eat dinner before streetlights came on or depending on where you live you come back when the streetlights come on and eat dinner if, if yeah. the streetlights came on while i was outside i was grounded i was a part of this weird time where i'm not a i'm not really accepted by any generation but i'm blamed by both the generations for the other gen like i'm 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 what they call an elder millennial so i was born in 82 I'm not quite a Gen X, not quite a millennial. When Gen X complains about millennials, they look at me. When millennials complain about Gen X, they look at me. Like, I don't get the benefit of any of this crap. Something more sinister. But, ah. All right, so Spud, because I like to watch you fail, uh, go ahead and give me a D6. And I if you get a four, you're going to be mad. Number. <clears throat> Free. Ooh. Four was uh, potions. For the record, Ooh, I kind of figured that. Now, Anti potion gang. Do you guys mind if I share a story of a former Valian? Potion. Yesterday, I was doing some stuff with uh, Miss Rabbi Jane. And at one point in time, I challenged her to roll a D100. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I will give you 100 gold if you get above a 51. Because she has historically bad luck with dice rolls, and I knew that she was going to get below. Did she roll a fifty? A five. That's because of the way roll twenty assigns dice rollers. Okay, sir. All right, um, Ron, I'm going to make you roll. You have got to roll a one d sixteen. Ooh. I should switch the game so I can see it. There is a 14. That there is a hot and fresh 14, folks. Giggity, giggity. This is such a weird, weird weapon. Hold on, let me check that out. You find a, a pile of treasure. Uh, as you search the altar, you find over here, you find bags of loot just so in the in the water there and as you pull it out the first thing oh, you pull soggy. out it's soggy loot the first thing you pull out is a shiny sword oh well this is useless no, <laughs> throws it back in the water throw it in the river I'm nobody a wizard wants, nobody uh, wants weapons I'm a bro. wizard should... damn it I should use these weapons against you. I just spoke confidently in Wally's voice, and I was like, wait, is that what Wally sounded like? <laughs> All right, so you find a... I'm not even going to make you guys wait to... Because we've been so long, I'll just tell you what the hell this stuff is. You find okay. a sword of wounding. Of wounding? I mean, that's what most swords do, so... Uh -huh. That's true. Hit points, um... lost, hit points lost to this weapon's damage can be regained only through a short or long rest instead of oh, regeneration gosh. magic or other means once per oh. turn once per turn when you hit a creature with an attack using this weapon you can wound the target at the start of each of the wounded creatures <laughs> turns it takes 1d4 necrotic damage for each time you've wounded it oh that's, that's kind of that's kind of fun i like that and now we need to figure out what kind of sword uh, whichever kind is least adva advantageous for all of you. Um, you ending right? the effect, you, you, uh, uh, wait, 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 hold on. It can, at the end of its turn, at the start of its turn, after it takes the damage, it can then make a DC 15 con save, ending the effect of all the wounds on it. Oh. Boo. <laughs> I don't want cool effects to ever end. Alternatively, okay. the wounded creature or a creature within five feet of it can use an action to make a DC 15 wisdom medicine check, ending the effect on success. 
But then the the loot list I did likes to mix things up and added a really cool additional effect to it. Oh. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Foes slain by this weapon are transformed into rats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like dead rats? <laughs> or living rats? The squeaky rats. Okay. Hmm. What if, wait, so if you kill a rat with it, then it's just an infinite rat blade? This is a short sword. Hmm. Garbanzo. Well, would you look at that? A sword that's good at hurting people. That's rare. That is definitely <laughs> a rare magical item. Isn't that the right. point of swords? That's exactly need... the point of swords. <laughs> no, the point and of swords, swords have a point. The point of swords is to kill people, not just wound them. Mm, we could I... take it. Um, Lewis, back to the guild for someone else to pick up. Lewis, give me a d6. Reroll any result of three. Well, I guess re -roll. I reroll. One. I was really hoping you'd get a four. I'm so glad. I mean, Lewis, could, good job. He could, he could Inspiration for together. Lewis. <laughs> well, if you had the two together, oh. it's a four. Wally. Because there's Yo. potions on this list, give me a D12. Wait a sec. Oh, it's like, oh. Well, I'll take it because I got a normal dice again. <laughs> I have to type anything out. Eight. Yes. This luminous uh, potion I smells smash acidic. It. I smash it. Whatever it is, I smash okay. <laughs> And you pull out a, a potion of stone giant drink. strength. Oh. I kind of want to give it to Garbanzo. Who's <laughs> all this magic loot, Garbanzo? We don't want it out of it. Um, right. A potion. Wonderful. <laughs> all right. Uh, Garbanzo. No. Not yet. Uh, oh, David. Garbanzo, no. Well, Garbanzo's getting loot. Garbanzo can just be happy. <laughs> David. David. Give me a d6. Reroll a 1 or a 3. Why not just a d4? I said what I said. 6. You see, if David rolls it two more times, it'll come out 6 and 6. Just let you know. Rolling oh, a d4 never mind. Fix it. Those right, would be great. Uh, if it would have 4 and 2 equals 6. All right, guys, calm down. Let me, let's get through this loop. All right. I know, Please. but I want to screw around while no. I'm for you to tell me what that means. That's fine. Just stop pushing your mic button and screw around just quietly for the rest of the class. All right, Garbanzo, roll a D14. Um, what is that? It's a 14-sided digital dice. You would roll it by typing that slash roll 1D14. A one. Oh, no, she did one D. That's four, close. You went a one D one four instead of one D four. You're doing a fourteen instead of a four. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. So like that, but a fourteen. Are you clicking the dice button or are you typing in slash one one D one four? Well, so hold on. So are you typing that in? Yeah. Okay, so just add a one right before the four. You see what I just put in the Roll20 chat? Copy and paste that. How'd you put it in the Roll20 chat without it rolling it? I put the little... Um, the little symbol right. that's next to the one. All right. Uh, you guys find a wand of polymorph. Ooh. Ooh. And this Whoa. oak wand also repels small insects when held. <laughs> Garbanzo reaches for it and just gets launched. <laughs> I... <laughs> um... 
Uh, so what's that? The short sort of wounding the potion of stone giant strength? Correct. And then a wand of polymorph. All right, let me put that in my notes. All right, last roll. Have I had everybody roll? Yeah, I believe I I've had so. everybody roll. I rolled. I got to roll. All right. Ron, roll 1d10. Don't screw up. Three. You guys find 450 gold as well. <laughs> okay. I'll put it on the loot list. Apparently we have a lot of loot that I might have forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> We have an unidentified vodka potion. <laughs> All, right. All right. That is great. Oh, we have a bag of holding. <laughs> All right. So you guys managed to finish the ritual, right? Uh, the air shifts almost immediately as the blood dries up from the altar, no longer pouring into the river there. Uh, you feel a different presence. You feel, that's not the right way to say that. There's no other enemies, don't worry. Uh, you Well, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, you feel the air change. You, f you feel evil fleeing away. Uh, things are better. And as you guys gather around the altar to kind of look around, uh, everybody give me, everybody move near the altar and everybody give me a perception check. Perception, was it? Yeah. I'm playing a half lane, that five didn't count. Oh, it counts. Let's lock in. True. I got a 10. Uh, Might as well have been the five. 22. It's, it's true. Well, but at least he's not noticing his shoes. Uh, no, he didn't roll high enough to notice his shoes. 15 for Arizor. Oh, my dog got a crit. Nice. And the crit was the same as your non crit. It's because we're so in sync. Quick, sing an in sync song. I, copyright, I can't. No, you just, you would change it enough that it would be copyright. Don't worry. I don't know any in sync songs. <laughs> I know, that's why I push. Uh, uh, I love being a boy band. Okay, perfect. Uh, you guys gather yeah. near uh, near the altar. Uh, both Wally and Digby 2. Why are there two Digby 2s? One of them is... His I don't know which one's the real one. Because I, I, I thought my bird died. Bird. Oh, I guess it didn't. One is flying. Where's my bird? Oh, the bird flew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought my bird died, but I guess it didn't. Okay. I'll yeah. kill it. Don't worry. Good, but... Anyway, oh my God. you can just notice uh, some spider webs on the ground. Oh no. <laughs> and you notice that they are everywhere. You are all standing on them. And I need all of you to give me a DC 20 constitution saving throw. Yeah. yeah, I love this. Everybody go stand in this spot. Now that you're standing there, you're all stuck. If it makes you feel better, the webs go throughout the whole map. All right, so um, all I heard was we go. something about giving a saving throw. I got. I, I can't. I can't help you listen better. Uh, if you notice, I put in the chat, "Be right back," and then back. So I did kind of miss what was going on. Yeah, same these. And it's a constitution. Yeah. There's webs everywhere. We're making a con save. I was just not going to make the save because I didn't hear the DM ask for it. And when I asked for what he said, he didn't tell me. It was a DC 20. Oh, well, in that case, I got a nine and nailed it. Totally. Yeah, I basically it passed it. We can just it looks like it. the least likely person to pass a con save has passed it. Yeah. Are you oh, kidding? Yeah. Hey. What do you mean the least run? likely? Yeah. You know what? You know what? I might be old, but I'm not frail. <laughs> All right. Listen, sure. you calm down, Gramps, or I'm getting the Geritol. <laughs> what? It's old, old people medicine. Oh. 
Sorry, my neck's kind of pain. Ugh. I'm dying, guys. I'm dying. Do you need some uh, Geritol? Yeah, yes. Well, everybody oh. besides Arizor just collapses unconscious. Well, good night. Well, what the shit? <laughs> this is no time for a nap. Uh, what does Arizor see? Anything? Arizor is going to look around to see if he can figure out why. Or mm. could I make it? Give me an art. You noticed the webs. Give me an arcana check. <laughs> Oof! Only an eleven. See, that's the one I thought you would pass. Not the, not the con save. <laughs> like <clears throat> you, uh. <laughs> You aren't quite sure what this magic foolery is going on. There's definitely some magic inside the webs. Ah, my neck hurts. Uh, hold on. Let me... right. You definitely notice the magic inside of it. And then you see the shadows of spiders crawling the, over the bodies of your friends and yourself. Oh, okay. Um... Let me see. How can I wake everyone up? If fireball, uh, yes, <laughs> fireball. Yeah, I love that. Fireball, wake everyone up. Um, I don't know what element my door close. I'm gonna say lightning. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really... It doesn't really look like I have much of anything that would be helpful. Let's give one of us a kick in the shin. Yeah, let's see. Um, that, I'm going to try that. Uh, whoever is closest. I guess uh, that's Gar Garmir. I'm going to go over and, and try and shake Garmir. It's like, hey, hey, wake up! Garmir stays there to limp. Come on, little one, wake up! Shit! Mm. Mm. Um, you. Let's see. Okay. Around the outsides of your acceptable vision, you start to see shadowed figures closing in. They snap in their fingers as they approach. What you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. Mm -hmm. They are. Hey. I'm done. Get him. Hmm. Get him. Get Run, him I, was, I was looking at his spellbook and I wanted to look at his character for a second, so I moved it around. Blow him up. Let's see. I can't think of anything. I, I don't know how to wake everybody up. I don't have anything for that. A few moments later, the group of uh, shadow creatures get a little bit closer, and you see one single female drider come strolling up to you. Draped across this female drider are the robes of an arcane caster. As she steps near you, you realize that she's not necessarily stepping on the ground, but kind of stepping through it. As she's kind of ethereal or incorporeal. Uh, and you feel inside of your head rather than hear this horrible thing speak. And it sounds like she's whispering you a lullaby. Hmm. Is it NSYNC? Yes. My God. Singing. Night, night, night. <laughs> hmm. Moments later, you also fall asleep. Oh, that's NSYNC? Oh, okay.
I'm learning about these fans. <laughs> yeah, good night, sleepy it, wizard. Tell me why. Tell me why. Gab gooba gaba gib goob. Tell <laughs> me why. <laughs> <laughs> Schnab, schnooba, dabba, schneep, snoob. <laughs> so what, Arizor is knocked out now? Yes, yeah, so you can ask, guys all put your tokens in the middle of this map here. Okie dokie. Can you see? Uh, Not right now. Oh, you gotta put your tokens down. Uh, there you yeah. go. Ah, and then my boy. Um, I'm gonna say since my bird wasn't on the web, he just flew ran away and I don't have him anymore. I'll get back later. It's funny, exactly where you were pinging everybody except for Garbanzo put their tokens there. Whoa. You've all benefited from a long rest. Hey! Thanks. Yay! Let's go. Except for except for Wally. Well, Ooh. I already pressed the button, so <laughs> this is too late. Yeah. How do I heal my dog? Oh right, it's a tracker on that. See you up. She's human. Kill one. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um so we wake up in this circle? Yeah, sorry, I was just completely on unfamiliar circle. I don't want to hear your complaints, sir. <laughs> yes or no, is the circle familiar to us? No. <laughs> then he no, is not to correct. These characters. <laughs> then he is correct. It is an unfamiliar circle. All right, circle. so you find your guys, you guys find yourself mm -hmm. in a room with a wooden platform in the middle. You still see spider webs in every single direction. The other thing that you see that I don't have on the map here are there are husks of humanoids spread across the the entire room. Um, I, I was asleep when the drider showed up, but can I do like uh like a nature check or something to like recognize that this is the work of a drider or something? Sure. Good luck. It'd be more arcane, though. Okay, uh, then reduce free from that. What I can roll? So eight. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, one. I have an idea. It might have to do with a driver. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, guys, I, I think that's, I think that's a driver somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Uh, you see the. Shadow Drider uh, sitting kind of across from you. It would be the head of the room. Uh, and again, not quite corporeal. Was it a nice sleep? Uh, no, very. you got a crick in your neck like oh. I do in real life. Wow. Is that just spite because you have a crick in your neck <laughs> i'm not the kind of d yes yes it is <laughs> you are absolutely the kind of d that would do. and you can leave that sentence blank because there's not much that you wouldn't do it's true well, well, yeah, as you guys wake up yeah you have a crick in his neck then yep as you guys wake up you have a minus minus 15 to attack rolls <laughs> I'll okay. take the minus fifteen for the part. No, no, no! It's Wally. He's the he's the archer. Anytime he tries yeah, to shoot, uh... his neck hurts. <laughs> uh, okay, <Yes>. so, <laughs> you, <laughs> there's no minus. Uh, as you guys wake up, you hear everybody hears without the drider speaking a single question, and that question are: Are you the defenders? It depends. Are you a cop? And whenever he's saying depends, I'm going yes. <laughs> <That's so bad. laughs> Every possible. 
Yeah, so is it like a, a mixed group thing? Did I catch you guys at a weird time? <laughs> Arizona looks around and is like, is this one of those, are you a god questions? Are we supposed are to say yes? always answer yes. I'm so I, confused. I, I thought you to be the intelligent one. Are you a defender of the veil? I defend a veil. Could you reflect that as a question? Perhaps. Okay. Well, if you can't answer my questions, I don't need to let you out. <laughs> and the spider starts to phase into the ground. So since I answered, can I come out? Yes, I got my answer. Lots of quiet. What do they what mean? Do you guys, what do they mean as a defender of the veil? We know about the, the guild. Do we know that? Is that what the guild? Called? Yeah, you know that's the guild. Oh, okay. I mean, Arizor could just as likely forget. It's what the grumpy goblin always said, so yes. Yeah. Are you feeling all right, old man? I trust you did read the contract when you signed it. There is a contract? Oh, dear. Right. Well. Right. Huh. Yes. We defend the veil. No one's here. Hey, you're talking to walls, pal. Uh, let me. Uh, Speaking of talking to walls, how many spiders do you know that can base through the ground like that? That's a bit peculiar, no? No, oh, that is. Quite fascinating. Five. All right. Well, Garbanzo, I imagine you know a lot of things that don't have to be true. So, um, could be a phase oh, driver. What would you say, Cat? What did you say is what I asked. Well, what did you say? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did uh, you I say? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just accused you of being a liar. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused by your guys' conversation. Garbanzo's just going to lay, lay back down and close his eyes. <sighs> right, there he goes. Um. So... If I look around, can I see that there's just an exit there, or is it not that? There's no exit. All right. Creek cave, platform, spider that goes through walls. Oh, perhaps we maybe had a bit too much to drink at the inn after celebrating our victory. That would make sense. Mm, we didn't make it back to the inn. I remember that much. I'm not going to trust a single thing that you say when it comes to your memory, if that's quite all right to you. Ah. And that noise confirms it. <laughs> Bam! That's going to be my next character, is a character that remembers everything along. I guess, can I do like um, some sort of... Uh, yeah, yeah, can I like look around, I guess, and see if there's anything of note? Doesn't Nibs already do that, David? No, Nibs lies about everything. Uh, just when you say of note, what are you looking for here? Like, just like, so I'm imagining like cave platform webs everywhere. Do I see anything that's like not one of those three things that isn't like? Yeah, don't forget the husk of many different types of creatures. Oh yeah, yeah, the the creature husks. Um, do I see like, I don't know, any ruins or, I don't know, just something that's not, um, that we might not have spotted in our first look around the room. Uh, currently it's okay if you say how no. roll was. Give me a roll. Give me an investigation. So these investigation. are impassable magical walls? Uh, how are you going to try to pass them? But that's, they're impassable magical walls, right? How are you going to try to pass them? Uh, uh, well. Well, are 
they magical or are they just walls? That's why I was asking if they're magical. I see. So you're casting det or detect ma or dispel magic? Mm -hmm. Fourth level, because that's I, everything I cast is at fourth level. Oh, that's right, your lock. I think so, man. Um, two of the husks that were in between you and the wall collapse. Brilliant. That's nice. That's nice. What you got there? An opening. No, the wall's still closed. Just two. There are all these little humanoid husks. I should have little tokens for you, but I, I didn't want to. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really the only reason. I came home from work and took a nap before the game. But there's little humanoid and monstrous husk uh, all over the room. Can, can we leave the platform? I can't believe you would take a nap. You can. And I know it looks like there's a door to the bottom here. There's no door. That just okay. com it's completely closed. There's no hinges. I'll save you an inspect. There's no doors in this in this place. You the guys manage to. Uh, I'll save you some time. You inspect the husk. You do some magic detection, yeah. and occasionally uh, a few of the husks are magical, um, but that's the only magic you get. The floor, the wood, the walls all just seem thick and solid. Um, throughout the day, is there anything in particular anybody would try? I like to dispel magic. That was good. I probably would have tried to make somebody detect magic first, but I like to dispel magic. So I'll, that's why I was asking if these walls were magical before I... Before yeah. Then, yeah. I, I, was I saw you play. trying to get some free info out of me. Mm, uh, and I appreciate the effort. Good job, you. I mean, we, uh, all we see is a orange circle around the thing, so I was just making sure that it was not... A force field or whatever that we could physically see. No, yeah, it was a good. That was a good question. Yeah, you know, Arizero uh, cast identify as a ritual. On okay. The, on the uh, magical barrier. No, there's no magical barrier. Or what? Whatever is. Uh, Huskable barrier. And uh, husk aren't a barrier. The husk are just. Think of them sta as statues scattered throughout the room. Yeah, you do. And a few of them are magical, and it's it's more like they have enchantments cast upon them. No, but I'm going to search the dead the dead bodies while we're waiting. Okay. Yeah, you don't you so you try to search through a couple of them and you don't really find anything. Okay. So we're just like in a cave that we got no clipped into, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're just did you... for the uh, the phase rider to come back. <laughs> Whatever. That's not the plot. <laughs> do you guys do anything before you go to sleep? Um, Wally would have done like his general sort of like research things because he he surveys locations as a job. So sure. he would do like uh, you know like take um rock samples and stuff like that to take back to his people but it would just be yeah um a lot of that so this um, is a big old wooden platform right sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you yeah well, that's I mean, fine that's fine you did a great job of it though yeah no it's inlaid into the stone <laughs> like it's not like you're not raised up it's the same level as the rest of the stone which is laid into it for looks or for rituals you don't know so you guys managed to make it through the rest of the day. I'll, I'll kind of speed it up so you guys aren't sitting here frustrated. The next morning, you wake up. You see your friendly phase phase rider. I think somebody called it, and I like that. Uh, I just <clears throat> let me take a moment. Let me take a moment to warn you guys about the campaign moving forward. Before you do, I want to take a moment to praise the person that said phase rider. That would be an amazing monster. Okay, so uh, you guys need to know that every 
monster you're going to be fighting from henceforth is going to be homebrew. I have spent a lot of our time away coming up with horrible ideas that I never want to play against. And I'm going to throw all of them at you guys because I care. So the phase rider comes back and goes, are are. you the defenders of the veil? No. Uh, Shut up. Yes. Yes, we are. Don't tell me to shut up. Well, do you want to be in here another day, or do we want to actually tell them the truth and say we're the defenders of the veil? So then she could send us on a quest, and then we could do all these cool things, and then she could like us forever. Mm, my um, mom's got a lot of time on his hands right now. Mm. So. <laughs> Freaking love Garbanzo so much right now. I have. Nah. A- Quest notification on the side wanting to start blinking, and I'm just trying to get it to blink. Nope, nope. You stop. You stop. Yes, yes, we are these defenders of the veil. I am Arazor. I don't care. Mm. I'm just glad I have the right group of people here. And her spirit just Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I don't think she knows who I am. I wish I didn't. No, I think she knows exactly who you are. Mm, I am Erza. <laughs> the annoying. Yeah, okay, we got it. We heard you the first time. I. Mm, the hex of hysteria, bane of the burning okay. day, <laughs> slaughterer of the siege of snow. Oh, you I will remember that, my though. name. I lean over to Digby and I whisper, I think he's starting to just vibrate. <laughs> oh, who's this? What are we doing here? Uh, everybody go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> I'm glad you're who, who you say you are. Now you're going to uh, die. I don't know why you say it that way. Does anyone know Crate uh, War? (laughs) A slight complication. Theodore got a six. Arizona got a Uh, twelve. Well, they got a twenty-two. Camille got a twenty-two. But it's not as good as twenty-two. Yeah, but it's close, buddy. It's close. This next monster is for Garbanzo. This one goes out to Garbanzo! That's what so she, have, the writer says as she disperses. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him! Look at him! Looks like someone from Star Wars. That's not the name of the show, or series, or universe. Well, Star Trek? I was gonna look at that monster and go, hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, well, you know, I've had better days, personally. What, what you I'm going to eat your face. No, I'm going to eat your face. <laughs> so what, what actually happened is the body of the phase rider dispersed, and you saw energy from it go into these two husks. And the energy goes into the husks, and now the husks start to animate. Right. Brilliant. Now, I would be lying if I didn't say this makes me excited. So, Garbanzo, (laughs) the Hydroloth, which is a medium fiend, uh, attacks you once with its claws and it bites at you. Garbanzo says, hey, buddy, that's, that's kind of kind of rude here. I need snack. Well, so do I, but I'm not a... Well, actually, I am kind of a snack. I do say so myself. Your name is Garbanzo. You're food. You're literally food. All right. Not uh, you, boy. I <laughs> missed wildly with, with the bite, <laughs> but I actually connected with the uh, claw. 
which is going to deal 17 slashing. Or as I like to say, ow. Ouchie. Your turn, Garbanzo. Oh, ow isn't a number. <clears throat> Well, it's been a while since I've played Garfonzo. What do you recommend to you? Not dying. Um. Should he use a spell to slash you? You're, are you a goblin? Yeah. I think, can she use a bonus action to disengage? Uh. She's also a. A rogue, and rogue? yes, I believe, I believe that cat can. She's, she's not a rogue. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. So if you wanna, but yes, if you, you can do treat the blast, disengage action as a bonus action. Yeah, I was just gonna say if you wanna do Eldritch Blast, you should do it after you disengage and move away because, since he's so close to you, your ranged attacks will have disadvantage. So you need to move away from him first. But if you just move without disengaging, then he'll hit you. So you can use your bonus action to disengage, he'll hit move hard. somewhere within your range, and then shoot something with your Eldritch Blast. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I, if I was you, Garbanzo, I would... I would. I mean, nah, Garbanzo's <laughs> kind of ballsy. Yeah, he is. That's why he didn't move further. <laughs> Garbalzy? And then you'll go ahead and click uh, Eldritch Blast twice. Ooh, the well, second one might hit. No. They both, El both Eldritch Blast barely missed the, the monster. Nice try, Carbonzo. And that was your movement and action, bonus action, so that's going to be your turn. Wally? All right. Um, uh, would it be an action to do some sort of check to um, know if... I, I haven't charged you an action to do it yet. <clears throat> Give me a um, religion check for one in a... Or no, religion check will work for both of them. Okie dokie. Uh, I'll just flip a coin as to which one I'm checking. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Religion. Oh, I need to untick this. Uh, wait, where is religion? Oh, there it is. Uh... Nine. I don't you matter. have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Right. So what are um, you doing? Get to work, I suppose. Uh, I say, looking down at Digby. How far can he move? Okay. I think he's gonna go down there like that. Oh, I didn't think what the. On Dig, he has forty foot move speed. Is he allowed to stand there? Yeah. The, lo the ground's okay. level there. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, I'm just going to shoot the uh, Hydroloth a couple times, I think. Yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm just going to do a normal shot for now to get my... 16. That hits. Sweet. Uh, Digby's going to use his reaction to add a d6. Oh, there's a thing in the way of my screen, and I can't press the Digby button. I'll just roll it like this. There's I can't like believe I can't press the Digby button. That's what, 17 damage. This is, a, this is not a magical weapon, by the way. Um, that's one. So you're actually Sorry. healing it. Dang. <laughs> I'm I, well, I was a villain this whole time. Uh, second attack. Uh, da, 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 da. Is this the right thing? Oh, 25. Uh, for eight. Um... So, 25 total on the Hydroleth. Uh, and then Digby's just going to attack it. I can't press either of his buttons because of the pop. Okay, I found it. 19 uh, for 9 piercing damage. And his, his uh, attacks don't count as magical yet. And then, okay, I know that you're a wizard. However... <laughs> you're good, right? Uh, yeah, I'll hang out with Theo. Uh, and Wally's gonna be like, uh, maybe try breaking some of those other husks before they come to life. Sounds good to me. Ah, oh, you guys got this. Definitely don't focus on the two monsters that are active. Well, I, I rolled really low on my check, so. Uh, I All think right. that's Wally. 
Garmir. Garmir versus Garbanzo. Who is the strongest Gar? To be fair, they both are. Yeah. You see, it depends on the uh, on the day or the technically the round. But for now. What are you doing on your turn? I see you another classic. Pity you hit with one. Ooh, that's Which one are you hitting? Uh, the, the Hydra Law. Um, concentrating Fire. Yeah. Think it's it? <clears throat> Anything else? One second. Okay. That's actually more. Oh, do you have some bonuses? Yeah, that'll be a, a six damage. Add any charisma that. damage. Agonizing. Okay. And, nice. Uh, what else you got? Uh, for this second... I am done. Okay. Uh, Arizor, what are you doing? Uh, Arizor, I'm going to use my Ray of Frost on the Hydroloth. On Garbanzo? No. Another time. The Ray of Frost shoots, and the, while focusing its eyes on Garbanzo, the Hydroloth dodges out of the way. You guys were supposed to hit him? Bastard. And then, I'm just saying, we're practicing. As a bonus action, I'm going to manifest mind. <laughs> it's just sort of really funny about you being like, ah, bastard. Anyway, here's a sentient book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, well. Have you read To Kill a Mockingbird? It's very All right, good. Theodore, it's your turn. And I'm actually going to move it because I can manifest it anywhere within 60 feet of me. Okay. What you got, Theodore? Okay, so I'm going to be using Emboldening Bond. I'm going to bond Gabonzo, Wallace, and myself. And I would have also moved back. Ah, uh, cheers. So, what else you got going on? So what? the th three of us are going to get to add a d4 to attack rolls and ability checks and saving throws. Once per turn. Once per turn. Anything else? Um, uh, no, I'm good. Oh, Garbanz. Okay, good. Oh, thank God. Garbanzo's going to work. Hold on there, little fella. I think both of us hit. I'm imagining so. Uh, I forgot I can actually just open the good sheet. How much damage is that? 20? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, his AC is 17. <laughs> Holy j- ah. oh. Unlucky. Um, oh, I can just do that, yeah. Minus <clears throat> he's got 15. He's hurt. Yeah, he's got 15 left. Yeah. <laughs> Digby. <laughs> Oof. Oof, Garbanzo. What's wrong with Garbanzo? Garbanzo's about to get hit. Garbanzo, no. bring it on, bitch. All right. Well, this is oh this is. Uh, go ahead and uh, well, first make a DC 16 intelligence saving throw, which has no reference to any of the damage you're about to take when I roll this 4d6. What does that mean? Uh, Ominous. Garbanzo takes 17. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Garbanzo <laughs> takes 17 psychic damage. <gasps> and uh you can't you you can't cast spells 
You don't <gasps> understand language. <gasps> you lose all of your proficiencies. Garbons, no! Oh. Your intelligence and charisma are now five. And you get so to make a save once per long rest. <laughs> wow. You kind of, yeah. I think you turn into an actual garbanzo bean. You, okay. you, you would recognize your friends, right? Like you would recognize your friends, but you wouldn't. You can't. You can't come up with complex ideas. You're very slow. You can't really talk. Speaking of that, it's your turn, garbanzo. Garbanzo, go. Wait, we're putting Missy in. Oh, Hold on. Let me. That's the ability to just wrecked. I want to go stand there and say, I like carrots. I don't know what else you can do. That, that's, you know, that's fair. Uh, Wally, what seen. are you going to do? Uh, Wally uh, is going to target the hydrolyph again. Hydroloth, sorry. Um, I think Digby might just we got a Missy so, invasion. Oh no, because it's Garbanzo. So... Yeah, Digby's gonna help me. Uh, and I'm gonna try and, um, sharpshoot the, uh, what's his name? Oh, the title. Say hi, Missy. Uh, You're sharpshooting the Hydro. Yes, I think I missed. <laughs> I don't think that. Okay, bye bye. Does that take it off? Oh, I have. A, I, I don't even need to press that. I have a different thing for it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that misses. Um, Both of those miss. Yes, even yeah. if you had advantage. Um, I I did for that because I used my bonus action to have him help. I think. Uh, second attack. Well, All right. I tried. Um. All right. Wally is gonna move. Here. Garmir. <laughs> I am going to take care of business. Take care of business. Hydro law. DC 15 oh. constitution, please. Sure, I'll get it made 15. No, I don't know. I'm going to roll for it. That's a good amount. Oh, is this blight? What are you? Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm blighting. Cause I'm blighting. What kind of damage is that? Necrotic. Necrotic. I was just checking for uh, immunities. Ooh. Ouch. You see the colors start to wash out of the creature as his veins turn black and his skin starts to become very dry. Uh. And he yelps in pain as the first big damage uh, hits it, and nice. it failed its it failed its saving throw by a lot. Nice, good job. Good work. Good work. Hmm. Is that your turn, my friend? I wish Roll Twenty would have a thing like on other sites where you can separate your uh, bonus actions from other stuff. But yeah, um, I'm done. Okay. Oh, wait. All right. Now I'm done. Okay. Erezor, the exorbitant, the absorbent. Hmm. <laughs> Is his name? Oh, you didn't see, you didn't think that joke was going to come at some point in time. <laughs> Hey, I'm uh, just gonna say if Digby gets hit by any a AOEs, I didn't see it happen. Alright, so just keep that in mind. My eyes are closed right now. Excellent. Because uh let's see, bonus action, I believe, to move Suki. My awakened spellbook, yes. As a bonus action I can make it move up to thirty feet to an unoccupied space. And when I cast spells I can cast a spell as if I were in Suki's space. So, from that spot there... He's going to cast Burning Hands. No. 
Lightning bolt! Nice. Oh, and my dragon's a lightning dragon, so it's resistant. Ooh. But not immune. No, it's not immune, sadly. High five. <laughs> oh, he's a bear High five. High five. God damn it! <laughs> God damn <laughs> Um, yeah. He's still alive, but... <laughs> and did you make it up? Yeah, but he's still resistant. So I think that quarters yeah. the damage, doesn't it? No, he failed. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, because he, 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 it's half. Cause he, um, is that 12 or 13? I don't remember. Uh, 13. Did he round down by default? We're, we're rounding up. Okay, so he takes 13. Uh, so, to which... Well, Digby's looked better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, anything else, Erzor? Um, bonus action. I don't need to move. No. I think that is that is excellent for Erzor. Perfect. Uh, Ted. Teddy. Tedzy. Digby's going to give you the stink eye. Teddy's going to move there. There is less, lesser restoration on Kanzo. Arizor is He's not still... going to notice. Hopefully that will fix her, but it, yeah. it has it has no effect on her condition. Boo. <gasps> yeah, that's a touch spell. I know. I moved, moved up. Oh, I moved I up. It was appropriate there. Oh, yeah. I, why did I see? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I saw somebody's arrow on the screen. <laughs> Anything else? And then I'm going to finish my movement by moving away from her, having failed at my plan. What well, a nice try. And be done. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Wow. So, Ugh. So, Ugh. So, Ricky, how did the monsters do? Hit. Ricky, how did the monsters do against my lightning bolt? It it I damaged them, the but, damage they took. but uh, not not a lot. Uh, They're pretty dexterous. Digby just hops out of the way of its attack. Shame. Yeah. They took damage. You did damage to both of them. The Hydroloth is a lot closer to. Well, it's it's it's. it's I can I can hurt. It looks. Yellow. I can see the bad guys' health bars. Yeah, we can see their. Well, yeah, we can see their health bars, but we can also see the aura. Yeah, we can also see the aura. Garbanzo, you're mentally in a field of daisies napping. Wait, what did the Tiger Lock do? Ooh, ooh, hold on. You're out. I'll have to go back. Actually, excuse me. Uh, you're you're in a field of daisies napping, uh, just eating snacks and playing with bugs. Can I say that like? The actual Garbons was just sitting there, like, like he's moving his hand, his right hand in closer and farther away from his face. Sure. And he's trying to <laughs> fill his finger. Oh. Like the oh. Okay, we'll take these to Take the spell slot off. Yes. Okay, good. Once a day. Okay, can't do that again. I'm not a Garbanzo fan. Garbanzo fan in the chat. Hey, Garbanzo fan. Boo, Garbanzo. So we did a clause. So the Hydroloth will move forward to you, Teddy. And it, it, it claws as it's walking by, just... Swipes Digby without really even looking at him and comes at you with a nasty bite. There's no need for that. Doing 13 nasty bite damage to you, Ted. Holly. Howdy. Uh, I guess I'll just shoot the Hydro off again. Good. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a... Normal attack with my longbow. 27. Oof. Too bad you uh, didn't 11. too bad you didn't do the thing on that one. Uh well I just want to try and get at least one in this turn. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> um Uh it's gonna be my foe. And I think that's gone up to a D6 now. Uh so it takes 
one more damage. <laughs> uh, Every damage then, counts. This is a brutal encounter. Second attack is going to be shop shooter. Yeah, that's I'm going to use the D4. Well, well, well. <laughs> All right, because... <laughs> Oof. Uh, that almost hit. Uh, kinda. Are you gonna move or are you good there? Uh I'm just double checking something. You I'm gonna Ravijan. Good. You think that'll help. What, what does Ravijan do? It gives you proficiency bonus extra. Yeah, I'm not it won't help, I don't think. <laughs> How much is it? Uh, I'm gonna move back. Three. Yeah. Plus three. I'll move here. Oh, that was close. Too bad. If it was one more higher, it would have helped a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to move here and end my turn. All right, Garmin. Show us how to get there, buddy. It's gone near. Thank you very much. <laughs> so what are you doing? I was just double checking a couple things real quick. I am going to. Eldritch Blast. Pew pew. Oof. A lot of nines in that first Dude, one. Why is this not. Go ahead and click your other one. Oof. Oof. No, I have to set that. I'll fix my. Any movement? It was blast. Uh, I'll be fine for now. I'm done. Erizor? I am Erizor. And I do not like this thing approaching. Rift. I'm a hydrophone. <laughs> nice suit. 23. That hits? It's going to do 11 cold damage and... Uh, the target speed is reduced right. by 10. Until the start of my next turn, Arizor is going to move, and I'm going to move Suki uh, vertical 30 feet. Uh, it hovers. It, yeah, no, I was debating how big I was going to make the room. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't put a height on it yet. But 30 feet is how big the room is, so it goes up to the ceiling. All right, that's it. Cool. That it? That will be it. My man, Teddy. What you got? Teddy's going to cast Sanctuary. Perfect. On himself. All right. So before you can attack him, you gotta make a wisdom save. Great. Anything else? You wanna move out of I, melee? I mean I could try that. We'll see how it goes. I mean you still have an action left. And I still have an action yeah, I'm gonna try to move out of my no, melee. This one has a bad wisdom. There. Yeah, this. That's a baby. All right. Super awesome. That's not a concentration thing. And I'll be done. All right. All right. First attack. Nope. Yes. It hits you. It attacks you once. That's, kind of, that's a cool picture. That Sword Wraith Commander to me is a cool picture. Did you guys see it? No, we won't. Yeah, yeah cool. the token looks cool. Let me blow it up for you guys so you have to. Oh, yeah, it. that is good. Yeah, I really yeah, like I that. Like... I like the color scheme. I like the reds there. All right. Uh, so it's it goes to it goes to swing at you once, and it like reevaluates its its on life after life decisions, and then it pauses and then it goes <laughs> to swing at you again, very 
very happy with the idea of attacking you. Well, I'm very happy with the idea of it not doing that. So can we can, can we go with that? No. What's your armor class? 18, actually. Oh, perfect. It only does six slashing. Thank you. Your spell did a lot. The high I didn't even there. say I was concentrating. Uh, roll 20 is goofy. Hey, Ricky. Try... What? Try clicking on the token for the for the one you want to blow up next time. Like try try it on the sword commander or whatever. Click on it and then push Shift and Z on your keyboard. Why? It should zoom in a picture of it for everybody. Uh, uh sounds like voodoo to me. The uh, Hydroloth will look at you, Teddy, and cast the spell magic. And then it's turned right there. Oh. Kind of rude, but. Interesting. Kind of rude, but okay. Yeah. yeah Garbazzo, you're. I'm, unfortunately, I'm so sorry that you're. I didn't realize it was going to incapacitate you so long. I thought you'd be able to make round checks. Are you there? Did you quit? Did you get mad? You left? It makes sense. I'm not mad. Garbanzo just sitting there, like, staring off. What's Garbanzo oh, thinking about? What do you think Garbanzo would be thinking about right now? What's Garbanzo's happy place? <laughs> well, Starbucks. Really. Um, well, he's back in the, that library place he used to work at. And he's going through all the books and looking all the pages. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Wally? Hello. Oh, it's me. After uh, this well, round of combat, we're going to take a brief break because I have okay, donuts okay. downstairs. Uh, I think Wally is just going to do his thing again. Good. The uh, Hydroloth uh, is looking pretty hurt. It's like. So, uh, plus fall. On a scale of 1 to 137, you're probably at about a 40. An 18 hit? No, but are you one of the are you one of the ones that gets to add the d4? Oh, an 18. He did. Well, he, yep. he did. That's how he I got did to add the d4. Yeah, it hits. Sweet. And he's my foe. Oh, so 17. Plus whoa, 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 whoa. That's not 18. What? It's a... It's a 13 or it's 13. What do you mean? No, that, that sure attack do. already has the minus five because that's a plus four, which my normal to hit is like plus nine. I just I made a new attack with the minus five to hit in it. I don't see a minus no minus five in there, I just see a minus three. He yeah, well, that, there's he, no way he, to do a minus five, so I just didn't add five of my bonuses to it. Like, look, this is my normal attack, and that says plus nine. I made one that's plus four because that's minus the five. Mm. It's so I don't have to do math every time I sharpshoot. You need to do math when you sharpshoot. That's half the fun of the ability. It is not half the fun of the ability. <laughs> uh, so what was that? 22? Yeah, 22 piercing on first shot. Second attack. Uh... I'm gonna do a normal attack. So I don't. I think it actually has pretty decent AC. The, uh, the 14 20. there? You already rolled a 14. Oh, oh that was the show. I don't think that. Because yeah, right, right, right. I would have, uh, what do you call uh, it? If it was higher, I would have been like, oh, I'll sharpshoot it. <laughs> uh, 20. You... So it's 7. Oh. And then add 7. So just I fine. Doing just fine. Yeah, I got Dark Dale. Yeah, he's got this. Teddy's got this. <laughs> Garmin, what you got? I'm good. If you're that worried about it, when I get hit, you can always teleport next to me That's and take funny. the hit. Hey, Garmin, what are you doing? I moved to that spot, went over one, and then go to um, keep you. 
a 20 for 14 and a 24 for 14. Oof, it's dead. At least you're consistent with your damage. Yes. Yeah, that, that's and I true. Got my <laughs> damage corrected on it. As well, as it shot. uh as it gets hit, it turns into ash like the other two husks that were dispelled and kind of fades out. Thanks, Sarah. Erzor. Mm. All right, hopefully this goes. All right. Um. All right. From here, I'm going to firebolt this sword wraith commander. Have the book do it. It's way funnier. I c I can't like make the effect come from the at least not with the way this is set up. But twenty three. No, I'm not worried about the effect for for roll twenty. I'm talking about like for the flavor of the game. You oh, cast it's... all your spells. So, uh, well, that would use one work. of the uses of it because he only has proficiency bonus uses of that. Oh, yeah. then never mind. Yeah. Then never mind. But I'll stick with that, and I'm gonna move to there and be done. A bonus action, I'll move Suki 30 feet closer. There. Go. Ted? Teddy's gonna turn on Dead. Good luck. As soon as I find the ability. Do they do a wisdom save? Yeah, they get a wisdom save. What's your DC? Fifteen. Okay. It, you cast your weight at it, and it doesn't seem to take effect. Sword rates actually have advantage on uh, rolls against turn undead. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't know anything about this monster. Wait. Yeah, it's pretty cool, it's right? It's called a soul wraith, but that all has an axe. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't mean to link that like nine times. <laughs> you're still like you're sticking it in his face. <laughs> It roll. It's funny because it rolled a natural one, and then it rolled a seventeen. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Wait, was that your turn? That was my turn. Okay, it's going to viciously grip its long sword axe and attack you twice. Viciously. Viciously. It only did 12. And at that point in time, uh, you hear a rumbling. It's both in game and the DM's stomach. And you see a monster appear back here. Not appear, but oh. the husk animate. Yeah. We got a rumbly and the tumbly. Oh, he's, he looks cool. Hmm. He's a cute little guy. Oh boy. Okay, so we wait, are... wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh yeah, we're taking the break. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take a short break here. Um, so don't go anywhere, guildies. Um, you know how how it goes, Lewis. After these messages, we'll be right back.
All right, and we are back. Thanks for hanging out while we took that short break. And now, without further ado, back to the combat already in progress. Ricky? Garbanzo. You're still looking books. Wally? Let me say that this round, yeah. the Frost Salamander is starting to animate, but hasn't moved yet. Yeah. For full transparency, when it gets to its turn, it will not go. It will go next turn. Right, okay. Um, well, Wally is going to take this time to move to here. Um, I just want to try and burst down the rake. Yeah, I'm going to make a sharpshooter shot at the Wraith Commander. <laughs> oh! Mm. Uh, uh, so oh. the ten only gets added once, so that's 26. Um, I'm not going to make it my foe. Oh! Why would you not make it your foe and double that? Because I think it free a day. Ah, oh, fuck it, it's my foe. <laughs> uh, well so it's 2d6. Yeah. Ah, for six more damages. Um, what's that? Uh, 16. 35 plus 6, so 41. 35? The sharpshooter don't. Uh, oh. add, yeah, sharpshooter oh. doesn't get doubled, but I, it won't. There's 31. no way I can turn that off. Okay, so you open. Cool. Uh, second attack. Uh, that hurt it. The wrath looks at you. Ooh. I should. I should have stayed where I was. <laughs> second attack. Ooh. Well, I had a D four. Uh, can I add Rabijan's thing to that? Do I have a Rabijan's thing? You do, do have a Rabijan's. Can I do that to make it sixteen. You can. And it barely so misses. Ah, well, I tried. Um. What do I? I don't think I have any bonus actions. That's two arrows. Uh, well, now that it's looking at me, I'm gonna move like, uh, like just go south. <laughs> I don't really wanna. I don't know if they, I, I don't know if you're. Wally doesn't know anything about frost salamanders, so you know. Was that Alt Z or something? To show you the uh, uh, click the token and then shift Z. That was here. Boom. That's how that's you do it. Boy. That was pretty good. Oh, that's cool. I guess literally because it's a frost salamander. But um, really, just not contributing this combat. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, what I the heck? Actually, I have five foot left. I think I have forty feet of movement. Um, I. I'm just gonna go like that. That's me. Well, he's done. I got no bonus action. All right. Gamea. Gamea. Gamea moves to there. Looks like he's about to fight a scrybot. <laughs> Are you uh doing my checks or whatever we're supposed to be doing? I am. Okay, cool. A 23 for 12 for the commander. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. I just hit once. You guys are starting to really rally and beat up these guys. You see as this frost salamander shakes off the last bit of the uh, ash that was the husk, and then frost starts to emanate, like you can feel a wave of cold come out from this thing. Arizor? Arizor the chili? Uh, well then, if it's cold you want to play with, fire bolt! Twenty-four. Who'd you hit? The frost salamander. Uh, 
Good. Excellent. Now I move away. Sorry, I'm eating the rest of that sandwich. Yeah, All right. Doing my method. Hide behind the other people. Teddy. Tedzy. I don't play very many magic users, but I know the strategy. So we're gonna be initiating the get away from me spell. That's everybody's favorite. Spirit Guardians! Oh, okay. I thought it was Thunder. Thunder. Thunderstrap. Ho! No, get away from me. I don't like you standing near me. Either get away from me or got die. He wants to. Side note, in uh, WWE 2K23, I do have a downloaded wrestler of Lionel. And for his announcement name, that that's what it is. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Oh! <laughs> that's awesome. With that, I'm done. <laughs> Okay. What's the DC 15? It sure is. DC 15 wisdom. All right, go ahead and roll some damage when you take half of. It rolled it already. It's 12. You can see the Wrath Commander does not like being inside and of it. it. And it should be radiant damage, by the way. Yeah, I was looking for some sort of like uh, vulnerability or something. That's why it took me so long to like reply. I was like, all right, is he going to mess this guy up really good? I hope he does. No. All right. I think something cool is going to happen. I think I'm going to kill David. Uh, no, because somebody can take the hit for me. Okay. So we're going to do Call to Honor. The No Halfling Clause is in effect. Not on the range of you. <clears throat> it has advantage on attack rolls until the end of the turn. Yeesh. 1d4 plus 1 Wraith Warriors appear in unoccupied spaces. Here. So he summoned some more creatures. Jeez. It's fair. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Where's these Wraith Warriors at? He's coming. Okay. Regrettably, no one that has the bond on them is close enough to you to teleport to you and take the damage. I apologize. This is a weird... 30 feet. That's the range. Yeah. Yeah, I got the wizard. That's fair, right? That's some bullshit. Seems Everybody fair else to is me. too far away. Everybody else is too far away. Seems fair to me. Well, I'm so sorry.
they take their turns immediately after the commander's turn and the same initiative. So they're, they're going to attack right after this guy attacks. Well, he's used his action, right? He's you. Nah. Uh, yeah. Because it says to use this action, the soldier race must have taken damage. So I'm assuming Colt Warner is an action. Hmm. Yeah. It, looks, it looks like a passive to me. Sorry, guys. I don't think that's how passives work. I think I don't. How I don't is think that that's a passive. They, yeah, it I don't think that's how they work. It says it use this passive action. action. The sword wrath must have taken damage during the current combat. I don't know why you guys can't see the word passive there. Anyway, uh, is this is gaslight of the veil. Oh yes. On the nest. Erzor, how you feeling, bud? I believe in you. Oh, I'm believing in you so hard right now. I'm gonna. All three of these guys are gonna enact martial fury. Okay. Which means they get two attacks against you. So that's six attacks coming oh. your way. Okay. We'll just dodge them. All you have to do is not get hit, bro. Long Can supper. they have advantage? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, why did they have advantage? Did you say so? I did Martial uh, Fury. I'm following wait, the rules. Martial Fury, we have advantage to hit them. Not they have advantage. Correct. Oh. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> I misread that. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I just get an extra attack, and man, they're rolling so bad. I, I'm sure Ron is freaking Thank out happy. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Four out of six rolls, not one hit. Okay. Oh, my God. If you had advantage, Ron, I think you would have been dead. I think there's a good chance that's true. Hey. What's up? We got one. We Hopefully got one. Oh, that was spooky, though. If you're concentrating on anything, you should do your roll. Did Arizona just do, like, 50 backflips in a row? Dude, so these three Wraith Warriors come out of nowhere and start swinging at Arizor. And Arizor just starts doing, he's doing the splits. It's like Jackie Chan in any movie he's played. You jump into shopping yeah. carts. They appear <laughs> swinging at Arizor with righteous fury missing completely. You see, and I yeah, can just see sure. Arizor up there. It's like, you know, they swing at him. He reaches down and scratches his leg and it misses him. And he goes over and, you know, drops his staff and picks that up. And All right. So, no, Arizor wasn't concentrating on anything, but he'll take that that eight slashing damage. I already applied it to you. So if you did it, you did it twice. Oh. I know. Ricky's, like, on top of the hit points for the players tonight. I'm just trying to be on top of the game. Wally, what you got, bro? Hi. Sharpshooter on that commander. Oh my god. What the little what? flip? Uh, 14 plus 10 plus uh, 36. 33. 33. Okay. Um, do I just send it? And sharpshooter again, because my next I, one's gonna do a lot less damage if I don't. I feel like you should just be an adult and be a dang adult. I think I said. Do that. it for the bonzo. Oh, sorry, I was just checking my thing. Hey, twenty-two damages. Cool. Um, so while he shoots that thing, it's like, all right, brilliant, and then he turns around and sees the. Frost Salamander and the free race, like D DDRing with Arizona. He's like, all right, well, less brilliant then, I suppose. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move. Who is the other person that has the bond? Is it Garmir? Yes. Okay. Let me just check my distance. Okay. All right. That's me. Garmin. <clears throat> when you say Garmin, I just want to say it's like a brand of Satnav here, and that's all I can think of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if... um, I'm taking directions, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. 
You have missed your stop. Please, make a U-turn. <laughs> you guys feel a rumbling. Oh, brilliant. In, again. My, in my belly. Okay. All right, for all salamander. DC 15 Constitution save, please. Or take 44 Necrotic. Nice suit. What a way to start off on the Salamander. Oh my gosh. You gotta be about out of spells, though. Oh, I'm 100% out of spells now. Mm hmm. But, yeah, that was his second blight. He's a warlock. He's got two spells on. But the thing is, though, I can play him different than I do other warlocks because who knows when I'm going to be changing. Yeah. Do you like... Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. You'll see you later. Okay, okay, okay. I trust. All right, you saw what last else? time, didn't we? Or was he not here? Yeah, I, uh, so I saw a change. I just so didn't know what that Anything else this turn? Garmin? Couldn't hear you. You got some other. Okay, you're moving. Is that it? it? Goes to there. And now I'm done. That's good. That's good. Oh, hey, Frosty. Hey, boy. Oh, now you're at a range, so we can't teleport to you. Yeah. Oh, five. <laughs> oh, you. Okay, you're big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it comes skittering up to you on all six legs, tail whipping around and knocking over a couple of other husks. And with a loud roar, it's going to exhale on you. I need a constitution saving throw from both you and Teddy. And you want to roll high. This is an important well, Oh, shit. Well, I try. Uh, you, do get, you do get the D4 to that, by the way. Yeah, it I doesn't matter. Not, not that it's going to help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it for? I'm going to use my reaction to take half with, um, what's it called? My spell. Resolve elements. You guys should be grateful. I always like to roll my own spell damage. I got a 15. Oh, I'm taking all of that. Yeah. Oof. Uh, what, what reaction are you going to, what ability are you trying to cheat with? I bought it. I bonded myself. So I got it. Part of the emboldening bond I included no, 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 myself. I'm, not, in. I'm talking to uh I'm talking to Wally said he was gonna take half damage. Oh yeah, okay. I'm so all that totally different. What are you doing, Wally? Cold damage. Well, I used absorb elements, so I'm resistant to cold damage, I think, until my turn. I don't know how to post the words of it though. Alright, so thirty four on it. So it'll be 15, 16, 17 damage. Yeah, okay. Do that. Thir so Teddy's going to go down. Well. I'm double checking to make sure that I don't have a thing. Hmm. Well, I feel like well, it. You do have a uh, Ravijan's Blessing. Then I will burn my Ravijan's Blessing. And bring my spell save up to an 18. We're gonna, it's gonna happen this Whoa. time, but never again this far after the save are you allowed to use other stuff. That was a long time to add that well, to anything. I didn't even know I had it. Well, that's, that's a you tracking thing. Well, nobody well, told me I had it. You should be All watching right. the stream. But uh, yeah, so you'll take, you guys will both take the 15, 17 damage. Sweet. I can't watch the stream. My computer doesn't let me run roll 20. All right, Arizona, it's your turn. Which is why you do it on your phone like I do. Uh, well, he also and, said, somebody also my, said they're giving everybody rub. They did. Oh, they that's did right. Mention. Your phone's something's up with it. My phone's completely broken and I can't even get it looked at till Wednesday. Air, Airzor, it's your turn. Mm. I see a juicy lightning bolt. I'm just gonna put that up there. I, I thought mm. about that 
but yeah, you could the, hit it with a lightning bolt. Um, I could do a lightning bolt and probably hit all four of these actually. Yeah. But if I Every do that, if I do that, Arizor has to stay put or take three well, opportunity that's true. attacks. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> <I can't remember. laughs> instead, I'm going to cast Kinetic Jaunt, which is a bonus action and increases my movement speed by 10 feet, and I don't provoke opportunity attacks. So, time for okay. Arizona to nope away from there. Um, see. We can go through this. Through what? That circle. Yeah. Okay. So, Arizor does that, and then um, I can. That was a bonus action for kinetic jaunt, so I can can trip. Um. So. Screw it. I'll do another uh, firebolt at the frost salamander. Get him. Oh, only a 10. He's big. I don't think he's that big. <clears throat> oh, he actually has a good... That's unfortunate. He's got a good armor class. I mean, he's a tougher creature. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's going to be it. I can't do anything else this turn. Teddy. You probably don't want to heal. I wouldn't heal. You're fine. It's fine. I'm healing myself. You know, what you could do is always go hide inside the frost salamander's mouth. That's a great idea. Nobody can find you there. Hm. I heal nine. Ouch. That's a rough. That's a rough. Uh, damn. That's a rough roll. That's your action. You got a movement and a bonus action. <clears throat> I'm going to be moving there and being done. All right, Garmin, these first two are for you. Actually, yeah, these first four are for you. Where were those rolls when I had the old man in my grasp? Mm. Two of them hit. Be a total of 18 slashing. Oh, right. I'm still going to try to kill Spud. That's great. And again. Yeah. Hoo-ha. Spud, you take 19 slashing. And uh, you're going to have a Discord message, Izzy. All right. Oh, this is a pretty... You guys are in a pretty rough spot. Because it's going to be the Nicholas turn. He rolled a one on his thing. Hey, Wally. What? Oh, I thought things that... You petrified were stunned for their first turn. Kind of. Didn't that happen to the frost guy? It yeah, but he rolled poorly. Oh, okay. I know there was a roll for it. I'm just making stuff up as we go. Well. So the Nicolith appears right next to you. It just appears. Mm -hmm. It doesn't walk. 
He's hacking. Report him. <laughs> he does. He does hack. And it, oh, that's a hit. Uh, correct. Go give me a Constitution saving throw. Oof, one. So I think you have two hit points left. Um, don't I take the slashing the two d fours at the start of my turn? Okay. All right. Okay. I don't think. I don't think it'll change anything, but I'll I'll re-roll the damage. That might be better for you. Oh, as a treat. <laughs> as a treat. I've been, I mean, I've been doing better, but honestly, I've been worse. <laughs> All right, uh, Garmir, did you get my message? Yep. Go ahead and make the, the, the thing happen. That's so cool. Do you have your token? Is it all one token, but like sides? Yep. Got all that. That way the hit points and everything stays the same. Nice. Where is your character sheet? Where am I? Starts with the Y. There we go. I found them. Thank you. Uh, in a blaze of holy light, Garmir is consumed. Oh, well, bye, Garmir. And in his place is this scraggly-looking dwarf. Somebody give me a percentile roll, and if you roll above fifty, if you roll above fifty, Garbanzo's back. Well, well, damn. We did not roll above 50, regrettably. Okay. See, uh, I would have got you back. I didn't do it first. If you want to burn something that gives you advantage, I'll let you have it. Well, I have advantage. Well, I, or I guess I don't, I cannot have it anymore. That's right. Okay. Garbanzo, you're back in the game. Oh, it's Garbanzo time. Oh, I think Garbanzo ditched us. They hate us. No. We ain't got no beans. No, I'm here. Oh, how do you? You're out. You're, you can play now. <laughs> you're invited. You're free. <laughs> yeah, you're off a timeout. Yeah, don't you ever make that mistake again. How did those books taste? <laughs> Garbanzo, you see a lot of bad things going on right now. I, w I would highly suggest Pew Pew in one of the bad guys. <laughs> Probably that, uh, the big f blue one on the bottom there is the most hit. <laughs> Only if you wanna. Oh, you had an ability. You could have been better. Oh, Garbanzo time. She hit AC twenty three and twenty one. No, but she could have. She could have added ten to her save. Once yeah. a day, she can do that. Oh, I didn't know Garbanzo had this power. Garbanzo, go ahead and click the word Elder Blast under both of those because they both hit, and it's going <gasps> to roll the damage for you. Yeah, but. I think you actually do more. Let me double check your character sheet. I think you have the warlock ability of awesome. Yeah, you have agonizing blast. It's just not every up. every time uh, she levels up, you have to put agonizing blast back on it. That's okay. So that's going to be an additional ten damage. So that's seventeen, eighteen, twenty damage. But Garbanzo, good job. Okay, Garbanzo. Totally annoying that you have to keep doing it. 
All right. Uh, do you want to move, Garbanzo? You, I just want to point out there's some bad guys here. Oh, I just deleted one. There we go. Oh, sweet. Perfect. Good job, Garfunzel. <laughs> okay. There's some bad guys over here. Ooh. More right there. The biggest oh, worries is... Yeah, that was me. Ted right above you is really hurt, and Wally's is going down. Oh, damn. I mean... <laughs> He's yelling, Timber. No, I just want to let you know that they were gonna. Die. I just want you. To, I just want you to know that your friends are about to die. Well, I don't know who saw. He's, I don't know who saw my message, but I've got to get going too. Yeah. All right, Wally. Are you out of here now, Dave? Yeah, I gotta get going. All right, man. Have a good day. Sorry, you had to go early. Peace. I mean, Peace. somebody can play. Somebody can play my character if they want. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good luck, everybody. Right. Thank good you. Night. And good night. good night. Um, we use the normal rules for drinking potions, right? Oh, are you trying to make it a bonus action or whatever? Well, yeah, because I don't remember if we use that home brew in this or not. Um, home I don't. For us and full to feed somebody else's. I mean, what a lot of people do. But... I don't remember making a ruling on that, although I 100% know I have. So let's take a vote. You guys want to do the, you guys want it to be a, a bonus? A bonus for us in a full action to feed it to somebody else? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, like I like it, but I feel like I'm biased right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said we'll put it to the vote. It's just gotta. It's, <laughs> we've just gotta be consistent with it moving forward as best we can, you know. So uh, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. If everybody, if nobody has objections to that, I know it makes it easier for you guys. We'll let you do a bonus. I'm I'm fine with that. There's one that I heard of where if you like, you can decide if you want it to be a bonus action or a regular action. If you do a regular action, you just get back full HP on the potion. But if you do a bonus action, you roll. Nah, we'll just do it this way. We'll make you roll either way. I oh, still want sorry. you guys to die. For a second. Basically uh, said, go for it, bro. And good luck. Okay, I'm just going to type in... All right, I'll do it after. Um, okay. Uh, I might just disengage and drink a potion then. So I'm feeling kind of rough. Um, it's a little scary right there. I'm a little bit scarred. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bonus action drink. Wait, like Kendrick Lamar. Okay, go ahead and do that right. then. Uh, what is it? Is it two D four? Let's, get, let's get your turn moving, sir. This is two, so six. Uh, two, 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 two. six. Okay, not quite on death door. Uh, now you're one hit from like three different creatures away from death. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can see it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna dodge. Okay. okay so, so you're not disengaging, you're dodging? Yeah, I'm not gonna disengage, I'm dodging. Do you wanna go ahead and move and take the attacks of Op? Yeah, I'm good on that. You sure? Yeah, I thought about it. I'm good. I'm just gonna dodge here and pray. And we're gonna pray for good dice. Uh, that's not your name anymore. Yeah, it, it don't change the name on the thing. It's your gray. All right, your gray. It's called bloody hell. You're not coming any closer. <laughs> Murder. I'll just do a little bit of this, I guess. Where, where'd it go? A little bit of what? A little bit of... No. What the hell? That's... Crappy. And I don't think my thing's set up. It's not set up. So you get 14 plus... 
two plus spell level, I believe. So that's fourth level, so six. So you get twenty. To, um, you get twenty hit points back there, uh, Digby. That's my bonus action. Oh. And as oh, that's my nice. action. Yes. Go back to flip. Yeah. Do do something. I know. So much to do, so little time. I am going to turn. <gasps> they have advantage though. I don't think these ones do. It's the same thing as the other one was. No, that was a commander. Oh. And the commander is what gives that aura, I think, that gives them advantage. I don't think that these ones have So advantage. what's your DC? Mine or the um, or your grace? What? Huh? Uh, 15. Thank you. I was like, what? <laughs> the question confused me. Like, you're doing a thing. What's yeah. the DC? <laughs> My DC is much higher, but your grace is only 15. Oh, is he spooked? Uh. Oh, you didn't delete the the token. You put it under Arizor. Oh. What? You didn't delete oh. the other one. You put it under Arizor. That's okay. He'll, he'll just be right there. Yeah, just hide him. Right there. You got a little ghoul under you. Little well, fella. I'm right here, so. Yeah, right there <laughs> with your buddy. With your new extra best friend. That's the homeboy. All right. Uh, I'll tell you if the magic works in a minute. Well, it looked like one of them tried to start running away, so. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I was messing with <laughs> All right. Let's get back to killing Spot. Well, this you one. Have to. Okay. It's a bonus. You found a bonus one. Just a gift for you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if the Don't freezing Beth recharges. <laughs> freezing Beth. <laughs> yeah, it needs a six to recharge. Ooh, oh. <laughs> You'll just have to survive its five melee attacks. <laughs> well, they're a disadvantage. Oh no! You know what? Yeah. Not true. Because you cast Firebolt on this thing last turn, didn't you? Yeah, I, did, Firebolt. I did, but I don't think I hit it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Arizona. Did it, did it hit? Yeah, you've been very good lately. Oh, wait. Which one was it? Was it the 10? No, it was the 10. It didn't hit. Yeah, I didn't hit it. Because it was immediately after the connect jump. So it doesn't have its freezing breath. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Now wait a second. <laughs> now wait a second. Thing change the... <laughs> no, I was just seeing I was just seeing if it was two turns since it did its freezing breath. I mean it's fine. I'll just do the five attacks against Spud. Yeah, I love getting attacked five times. It's actually my favorite thing in okay. Well, that's a disadvantage, so I'm going to cast shield. So that one misses. Why is it a disadvantage? Because I dodged. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. So you cast shield. What's your number now? I use flanking in this one. Uh, 21. All right. <gasps> yeah! <gasps> well, at least, at least it's not the crit. <laughs> you take 11. 11. That's one, two, three, oh, four. Seraph is human. <laughs> You're okay. so lucky. What's your armor? Uh, that does hit because it's twenty-one. Ah. Plus six. Six. Now you just have to survive a little bite. Uh, is that it? Okay. There you go. Uh, for one. Okay. Yeah, I don't normally do this frontlining thing. So if we could kill these guys, Erzor, why don't you go ahead and firebolt that thing for me? Um, Don't do it! I beg of me. <laughs> no. Okay. Bonus action. I'm moving Suki. So that you can line up a firebolt. Thank you. 
<laughs> it would be kind of funny, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes sense. That's a wicked ability. I So I went through and found monsters. I just I just wanted you guys to know this this whole next, like, two or three sessions is about using monsters that I'm sure a lot of you have never seen before mm. with weird abilities. Like, I just wanted to put I those mean, out there. I mean, it feels I'm casting feels that lightning bolt through Suki, and it goes in a 100-foot line. So, unfortunately, it'll Draw just... Draw it out. Oh, well... I did well, use a use a snap to center. Don't draw it out. Yeah, do like that. Is that kind of what you're wanting to do there? About there? Nah, I mean, if that would work, but I don't think that will. Well, I mean, what's the? How wide is the lightning bolt? Five feet. About a space wide, yeah. I mean, that's a straight. That's a straight line. That's. All right, cool. If you allow it. Yeah. Do you? I mean, what would as a DM would you, would you have a problem with that? Because it's going through their squares. It's five feet wide. It would. I mean, the edges of it would hit. Yeah. No. That's sound. Yeah. I mean, and you you've got like, that that if you did it there, I would say probably not going to hit the one of the warriors. If you do it there, I think it definitely hits all three, but barely hits one. I mean, if I was getting weird or you guys were argumentative, I might say one of the warriors gets advantage on the deck save because it's so crazy. But no, nah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. All right. There's, uh... Yeah, I'll go with that. So DC 16 deck save for those three. Oh, shit. I haven't looked at the... Uh, the what the bonuses are, but I rolled a four, six, and a ten. Okay. So they're Sounds all going to take damage. Yeah, they're all going to take the damage. Ugh, I love wizards. <laughs> Oof. Oh, and just so you know, that one sword race next to you doesn't exist. Okay, well, even if it did, my kinetic jaunt would still make it so I could go like this. I just don't want it to be in your consideration. That was a good lightning bolt. That was a really good, yeah, that was really nice. good lightning bolt. It's kind of hot, actually. Are you doing anything else before I go to Ted? Uh, just moving further away. I think Ted's going to heal himself. Do you guys disagree with my assessment of what Ted would do? No. Uh, no. I was waiting to see what he was going to say. I forgot he left already. <laughs> he might. His passive thing, like his um abilities, like the bond thing, only work if we're in 30 feet of each other. So you might move like a step closer to like, like down here or something just to be within range of Wally. But. Go. All right. The sword Wraith Commanders fade. Oh. Oh. That doesn't sound good. They're gone. Maybe. I don't believe you. <laughs> there is I hope you like, don't take yes. that personally. I just Gee. don't believe you. <laughs> that is how it is done. <laughs> it's fair. Uh, yeah, they're hiding from your grave, but I might not hit them, so oof, it's all his fault. We go for me, Ricky. Moose. Hello there. Ooh. Ooh, hey Moose. You want to see me hit a buddy? Don't do it. Yeah, I have to do it. Also, hello. Boom. And then oh. it it moves down here. Do you want to take an attack of opportunity, Wally? I I could only kick it, so I'm good. And then I it, don't even have my reaction left. I can't. It, <laughs> it blinks from existence and reappears right here. 
Oh, come on! It's hey, it's all it's all canon. <laughs> not canon. That's not what I went. I mean, that's what I'm going with now. But it's a teleport <laughs> ability. It can magically teleport, mm. and then it's it's multi attack. Says uh, it makes two melee attacks, or it makes one melee attack. And teleports before or after the attack, so oh. that's that's actions. so it moved its thirty feet to get close enough to teleport within sixty feet of you. It had ninety feet of movement because of that. I was like, that's what took so long. Is I was just double checking to make sure that yeah. before I attack you with his great axe, that it was good to do that. Does a twenty-seven hit? <gasps> it, it, it's not good to do that. First of all. <laughs> that's fair. That's a fair reply. It's only 24 slashing. Uh, <gasps> and I see you already did it. And yeah, it I, wanna, did, I wanted to click that button so bad. <laughs> it, did, it didn't do my concentration check, so I'm going to have to do that. DC 12. Oh, you need to pass that, bro. Because um, if this thing doesn't teleport to get at you, it, it swings twice. Oh, it's kind of, so, um, wait, hang on. I need to double. I believe I have advantage on constitution yep. saves. Yeah, did you take Warcaster? Um, not Warcaster. Resilient. Well, that's another good one. That's and not. That just gives you proficiency. It does, but it gives me, uh, well, proficiency, and that's what I need. Or not. Yeah, yeah, but you said advantage. Oh, the, yeah. yeah it's sort of I, was just, yeah, advantage. I was just clarifying that, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about proficiency. Um, I don't okay. have... Yeah, I don't have Warcaster. Natural one. Natural one. But you do have... Uh, uh, can't, uh, blah, 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 blah. Rubbish on? No, you're fine. It doesn't matter. All that yeah, stress. Yeah, Look at that. 23. You're still concentrating. Boof! Carbonzo! I don't know why I didn't do the. Hmm. You see a big frost salamander boy kind of in third range. Yeah. I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? I said you're so technical. Yeah, get it. Click those buttons. Do those booms. Ooh, oh, both of those that's hit. why somebody. Okay. Oh yeah, blame okay. other people makes sense. No. You did good. You. you did good. Both hit. Oh, okay. You did uh, 17 points of damage to it. It looks hurt. Wally? How you doing tonight, Moose? Moose one. Hmm, Wally? Does not really want to take another five to the dome. Um, so you might disengage this turn. Hello there. That's okay. You, you don't want to take another five? It's okay. He's probably going to roll good on his next uh, breath. We're doing all right. Getting uh, killed uh, by some bullshit. Oh, you guys <laughs> haven't even really approached the bullshit for this fight. I'm going to use my action and summon Digby, I think. What a Digby thing to do. Oh, what element? Um, you know it's even it's better, Ron. That know. monster next to you hasn't even been touched. Yeah, I don't know if I like your turn. I'm starting uh, to talk pretty cocky. Digby. Where is it? I don't Where know. That's your action. What are you going to do with your bonus action? Uh, I think Digby might just attack. I'm gonna make Digby f fire, I guess. <laughs> that bitch is on fire! Well, Digby doesn't do... Digby, Digby doesn't do fire damage automatically. I, it's, it's, it's okay. I just... <laughs> this is like a future-proofing thing. Oh, wait! If he, I think he gets... I think he might get resistance to the type he is. Hang on. Yeah, because he had it with the lightning. Make Either cold. way, put his butt on the board. Yeah, okay, Let's do a thing. Well, I forgot how to. I forgot how to put his token on.
Oh, he's dead again. <laughs> oh, oh, <I> <laughs> he just spawned dead, like in the Peter Griffin, like, completely folded position. Uh, okay, Digby. Uh, Wally is gonna go like that. Oh. Like that, actually. I, I uh, hope, and Digby's I gonna hope this salamander lives long enough to kill Digby. Oh, actually. Oh, it's not gonna move like that, never mind. I'll take it back. <laughs> Uh, Digby's attack. Did it do it? 12. There's a 12 hit the monster. Okay, we're gonna move on to somebody better than you, Stern. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Alright, Ron. What are you, what is, what is Yard Grey gonna do? That's Lewis. You all of Grey. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm I meant. I'm going to move up to here. I am going to... It's funny, I looked at where you had redeemed the dun 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 while I was trying to say Lewis, so my dumb brain said Ron because that's where my eyes were. Uh. I am going to channel divinity and uh, give my divine power to people, and let's see here. Uh, Wally will get uh, 15 hit points, uh, Theodore will get 10, and I will get 10. Thank you. All right. Is that your turn? Can I kill? Nope. Because that's just my action. All right. Well, let's let's get on your bonus action then, pal. I'm working on it. <laughs> it should be past tense, man. Six seconds. You have six seconds to do all your stuff. I'm going to take six seconds to beat the crap out of you, Ricky. That's fair. Okay. I'm, be I'm being a jerk right now. And <laughs> five... Nine, sixteen, and while they also hope um heals another sixteen. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, I can get used to this. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't realize. I, I, when I rolled for what he becomes, I was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> Just like, okay, let's keep. Oh, look, I rolled a six. I can do first breath. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's basically a six. I guess we can round it up. And I'm done. Is, is that your turn now? Yeah. Thank you very much for the healing. All right, now that you're not dodging. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to. Like, <laughs> you probably knew this was coming, right? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want to hit the, the Drake that attacked him for a 12 AC. <laughs> you know? I didn't even notice the Drake attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> I was legit gonna I was legitimately planning on attacking the Drake if the Drake hit. Yeah, that's fair. But instead I'm gonna do five <laughs> I'm sorry, four claw attacks and one bite attack. I just find it interesting that it's during Pride Month. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> cast shield. Well. Then you avoid all of that. Uh, you have one more, right? One more attack? Yeah, it's going to be two net 20s. Uh, don't. don't okay, know. let's go. I love oh. shield. I'm a shield enjoyer. Imagine you take wizard to make your character more tanky. <laughs> hey, uh, question. How many more shields do you have? Yeah, let's not. I mean, that's, like, not relevant. Okay, your turn. At most, free. <laughs> <laughs> your turn, Arizor. All right, Arizor. Um, I'm going to move. I I can imagine you would want to. Run, run away! I was like, are you going to move? As yeah, you, you move, actually, you might be able to get to the other side of the room, and you might not be able to teleport that far. <laughs> as you move away, the Nycolith, uh you hear him say, "You cannot outrun the Phase Queen." Oh my god, that's kind of a, that's kind of a slay. Is that a, are, are you threatening me? Yes. <laughs> what did you think he was doing? <laughs> there is no TP for your bunghole, Cor Cornelio. Uh, I tried the frost bolt. And... Nice try, nice try. Bonus action, I'm just going to move Suki. Yeah, block him. Block him with a book. 
<laughs> What's he gonna do? He can't get past it. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Question. Everyone pray for Arizal. Did Theodore lose his uh, spirit guardians, or, is he, or are those still up? I'm sure they're still up. You're about to start taking damage from them, punk. That's no, wait, how does you, that work? Because don't you designate what creatures are allowed in the spirit guardians yes, when you, you cast do. it? You can designate creatures to not be messed with by spirit guardians. But aren't, isn't Lewis technically a different creature now? No. Okay. Don't pretend to know how Lewis's character works. I, I don't. I, that's why I was asking. Yeah, I was worried. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. All right, so is that your turn, Arizor? That's it. All right. Teddy, what do you want to do? Nothing? Fine. We'll skip you. I'm going to play with my cats and eat ice cream. Does he have a... He'll toll the dead. He'll toll the dead the sacred... Or the sacred, the frost salamander. Oh, it's a sacred frost salamander now, huh? Yes. And I'm going to spawn another one because of that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a DC 15 wisdom? Uh, yes. Yes. Son of a bitch, how does it take damage from that? Uh, 2d12. Alright, sir. Chill. Ooh, crappy rolls. And also, with him having spirit guardians, he may move you know, up to where he's in within I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a lot with Teddy. It's gonna be a pretty simple he's never gonna do the most he can while he's gone. Okay. Mainly because I don't wanna think about it. Also because I don't think you guys need it yet. But it's gonna be my turn. Thirty-five feet away, and he doesn't have reach. Yo, he should um, go for that book. I think. How far? Him... Oh, he could fuck that book up. He could. You leave my book alone. So good. He can also <laughs> Look, attack. Hit you? <laughs> he can also attack the healers, but instead, <gasps> he's going after this guy. But because Ron moved a lot, he only gets wait. Oh, never mind. His speed is forty. Oh. <laughs> He has a fly of 60 feet. Okay, I just don't know about this monster. <laughs> he don't either. That's why he's surprised when he's sitting on me. All right, so I guess that's yeah. two melee attacks. Dodge them both. Dodge them both. I mean, at least I'm not doing the summons. He could be summoning other things. Dodge them both or we're sending you to summer camp. What's your armor class, Ron? 16. It's gonna hurt by Jeff Shield. Oh, I'm going to actually on one of those. I'm gonna silvery barbs one of those. Okay, which one do you want to do? The 14 slashing or the eight, other one? Well, I guess I'll do the other one since you haven't rolled it. Link silvery barbs for me real quick. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Give you roll. And actually, I should do Take that. So that it takes off the spell slot. So, yep. Try to reroll the. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but if you're rolling that 20, he still gets the, just the 16. Or the 18. No, he got an 18. So the one did 14 damage. Yep. And this one's going to do 47 damage. Mm. Did you take the 14 yet, Ron? I didn't take anything. You've been doing all my damage. I just wanted to double check because that takes you really low. Oh, bud. Again, on a monster that has not been damaged yet. Garbanzo. Yeah, we know. <laughs> and the thing is, concentrate fire. Oh, and on that note, so 14 and 
Hang on. Oh, you got two different ones. Oh, yeah, you got to roll your thing, 14 yeah. 14 and 9. So the DCs are 10 both. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah. Is it raining? Is uh -oh. it snowing? Is okay. a hurricane we're, we're being a blowing? Hey! Demand of Dill. Demand of Man Dill. Damn Dill! Sorry, the alert's really <laughs> loud the for some blowing. reason. Yes! The danger must be growing for the rowers. Keep on rowing! And they're certainly not showing! <laughs> Hello, welcome any in, everybody. Thanks for the I'm just trying to murder all my players from Shenanigans and DMP on. All right. <laughs> Woo. True. It is true. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for the raid. Yeah, thanks for the raiding in. Yeah, we love hanging out over on Mandy's streams. It's true. Mandy makes me giggle. Garbanzo Bean. Yes, I have to, I have to hang out on one of yours one time. I haven't been over on Hold on, Ron. Hold on, Ron. You're talking over... Garbanzo. Sorry, sorry. What do you want to hit? Go ahead. Nope, you're talking. It's your turn. Okay, well, Garbanzo wants to hit the blue dinosaur. That's fair. Go ahead and roll your two attacks. Oh, that thing's never done anything to you. I don't know why you hate it so much. Do I hit it? Oh, yeah. Pretty sure you hit with both. You hit with both. Yeah. Is that 15? That's all Garbanzo's going to do. I think that's everything Garbanzo does. I want to see Garbanzo come in so pleasantly it. calm. This almost TP, TPK is going on, and Garbanzo's like, I think I'll just attack that dinosaur over there. Wally. He's, he's vibing. I envy what he has right now, okay? Um, dig the... Uh, I don't know. Well, he's going to attack with his short sword. I'm going to pull out my short sword. Yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, I've been healed a lot by Lewis, so I can't really complain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make two short sword attacks. Wow. Oh. Well, <laughs> if you insist, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna try and deal cold damage to this thing. Um, <laughs> uh, I am gonna do another Are you attack. Sure? I like your emotes. Ooh. But thanks for the lurk. That help. I'm talking to the chat. 13 hit, Ricky. Yeah, that still misses. Was that 13? Get out of here with your 13. Uh, bonus action, dragon tech. Bite him. Well. He actually bites his well, own tail, and he's running in circles. Honestly. Yeah. I feel like that's <laughs> his vibe. All right, Gami. You got this. All right, bud? Cool. Garbanzo, I sent you a message. A little whisper on roll 20. Whispering Garbanzo, Think. sweet nothings. What are you going to do for your turn? I think I'm done. Gar Gami. There we go. Your gray. Your gray. Your gray. Yeah. It's got one HP. Just, do you have like a laser? It does not have one HP. It has more. Well, you know what I mean. Not actually one. So it's very low. Uh, I don't know why I'm holding my push to talk yeah. button down. Sorry about that. I, I am going to channel divinity again and wait one second and go there we go now i'm going here channel divinity again and i'm going to give uh 25 no i'll give 30 to the exorbitant and uh and then 10 to Theodore. Thank you. That's okay. I have, I have more monsters. Plus, that one hasn't even been hit yet. Well, I'm working on that. Mm. And I am holy wording. The exorbitant for seven. No, seven. Uh, 11 more points. You guys feel a rumble. Good. I'm oh, glad. Go ahead and give yourself that last healing exorbitant. Oh, uh, um, 
Ooh, I like their token. Yeah, sorry. Okay, hang on. How many resources do you guys have? Well, depends yeah. on if I get scared enough. Fair. I could accidentally trigger trigger you, and you don't even know what that means. Oh, that's gonna be. I can't wait. It's gonna have to be something monumental, like an actual TPK or something, before I do that. Oh, and I'm dumb. I didn't know what was that. I admit it. Let me get this cross that one under. All right, the Frost Salamander. Let's go ahead and get a six. Seeing if we could just move Theodore up just a little bit, then he would have been dead. <laughs> uh, Wally? Uh, hello. Well... Oh, well, she didn't get bit. You cast some shield or not? That's true. Um, uh, I Come think on, I'll, Let's go. I'll, I'm going to do a, a bobs on one of the ones that hit. Any Ooh. of them, it doesn't really matter. What's your armor class? 17? Uh, it's it's 16. So there's oh, three that oh, hit. Oh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do shield. So then one hits. Uh, two hit. Two hit, yeah. <laughs> if I do shield, then two hit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Take your 13 piercing. 13. Oh, okay. 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 I don't, I don't hate that. Don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay. You know what I'm excited about? I'm excited for hitting Arizor again. Mm. You know, you know what Arizor is excited about? Not getting hit. I'm sure. But if he doesn't get hit, Garmir is going to get hit. You don't have to. Well, all right. Is my Arizor? Garmir might get double teamed, or maybe I'll hit Garbanzo. I wish it would me. Sorry, it's your turn again, Arizor. I was I talked over you like a jerk face. Sorry. Right. Move to there. Mm hmm. Um. Right next to that fire giant. Yeah. But then, uh, let's see. That thing is not looking good. Um, <clears throat> fuck it. I'm going to firebolt it. Yes! 27 Listen. for 5 fire damage. Listen here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> this. <laughs> thing you can do to make me angry with my monster. Yes! <laughs> <Good thing. laughs> it's 5 hit points. Why would you do this to me? Oh my God. You give it the ability to breathe frost and then <laughs> exactly so. Oh, yes. Uh, it's too good. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's too good. Next monster's a terror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it dies. Exactly. It fucking exactly dies. <laughs> that is the most exact uh, crappy death that can do. What else I are you going to do with your stupid made-up turn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Um, that's that's all I can... Uh, Damn right it is. Ted, what I'm are you gonna, doing? I'm going to move Suki 30 feet. Oh, you said that's it. You put Suki right fucking back there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm kidding, you can move Suki. I was totally thinking about that. So, I mean, you are an asshole, but you can move Suki. Uh... I hate you so much. <laughs> he doesn't mean it. Who are you to tell me what I do and don't mean, sir? 
You're, you're, I hate you so much leader. that you're going to take some healing, Ron. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. What? Oh, it's the circle. It's right. Uh, oh, God, Ron. <laughs> 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 he just completely... <laughs> <laughs> Did someone five since that's the amount of damage what you did. Does shit? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Oh, look, I don't know how this happened. Jealous. You know what I mean? Well then, <laughs> Arizor finds himself on the wrong casting couch. That's what I'm saying. I think it's the right one. <laughs> All right. Uh, it does. It does move up to you, and Garmir, if you'd like to take a, a attack of opportunities, it flies by you. I love that it's like, well, I started on this one. I'm going to finish it. Does a seventeen hit? Take one hundred forty-five nineteen slashing damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's second attack does exactly 37 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Ricky's the one that healed you and then immediately. Uh, <laughs> it was I didn't want him to get comfortable away. with all those life points. Oh boy. <laughs> um, well, we're getting really lucky with the knife voice attack, Ron. Looks like I lost concentration somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Too busy focused on your cheating hacks. Oh, no, that's what it... It didn't roll it. It just turned it off. God damn it. I need to... Yeah. That's... Whatever. Uh, it's Yeah, you do that. You figure that out while Garbanzo does the thing. Garbanzo, just to keep you up to date, there's a giant fire giant behind you in this weird green demon thing that's been attacking the wizard. Neither of them have been hit. So which guy do you want to do that to? All right. Well, you said I'm the, the only spell. thing allowed to be green. Uh, Doesn't matter. I rolled on that one. Let's go to the Shadow Realm. Lewis, stop playing other people's characters. I'm just kidding. That's, <laughs> that's good advice. That was good advice. My headcanon is that it gets banished to the place that <laughs> Garbanzo was <laughs> mentally. <laughs> it starts licking books. Wait, is it what? all this plane? You cast it at max. You only have a couple of spell slots. As a warlock, you maximum cast everything you cast. So no matter what the spell is. So right now you have two uh, fourth level spells. So yeah, you're, you're going to only have one fourth level spell left. Right. Or one spell, period. Level four? Yeah, so you have two. You have, You were supposed to have two fourth level spells. You see, I just put them to two for you. It's in your, if you're looking at your character sheet, you go to the number four for spells. There's a two to the left. Oh. Oh, you just went away. You want to be in here in your spell book. Well. This is where you're going to see it. So there's cantrips in the top left. And there's a zero to the left of that, right? Do you see that? Yes. And down below, the next big gray block is one, and there's a bunch of zeros. You go a little further, there's a two and a bunch of zeros. Do you see those? If you go to the top of the next column, you're at three, and below that is a four. The only thing that's different is the four has that number two right there. Mm -hmm. So you have two or four. You have two fourth level spells, that you, spell slots that you can use. Every spell you cast from one to four is going to be cast at fourth level, because that's the way warlocks roll. So because you cast the one spell, we're going to knock one of those. We'll use that arrow to the right of it to go down to one, it and now you know you have one more spell to cast. So what you're saying is I cast it at level four. Yes. You cast everything yeah. at level four. Um, did I click it? It's good. You're yeah. all good. Okay. How long does banish last? Um, concentration for a minute. minute. Okay. 
Okay, so it's. And it's actually. Hold on. I'm looking at the clock. We should probably stop here, yeah? Yeah, we should. Uh, well, real quick, before we stop, if it's not native to this plane, I think it. After something one different minute, happens, it right? Stay, yeah. If it's. If she remains concentration for a minute, it's it stays on its native plane. Right, okay. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here. Good job, Garbanzo. Yeah, good job, Garbanzo. You basically just one-shot that guy. When you cast Banishment, you took that green monster out of the fight. It's gone. So it's no longer going to be um, attacking you guys. What do you now mean? The green, green monster is, is right there. Everybody. His name is Garbanzo. That's the only green monster I know. Oh. Well, all right. Uh, Ron, <laughs> do our end of game stuff. All right. Well, <clears throat> or else. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We are going to be heading out of here, but don't go anywhere just yet because we are going to raid out. So, um, Lewis, if you. I'm sorry? posted all right so thank you once again for joining us um come back next monday for more defenders of the veil uh here in our homebrew world join us on friday for our dragon lance shadow of the dragon queen campaign continuing our adventures on kren and don't forget to check in mm -hmm. on sundays for some squared circle wrestling action right here at the OTB podcast. So until next time, Guildies, have a great night. We love you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Stinkies.